What's going on, Lead Gen Bees? Matty Eyes here, Leads for Locals. Got an awesome <clears throat> lead generation training video for you today. Going to be talking about how to do, uh, how to run a database reactivation campaign on your current LinkedIn connections. Now, if you guys have been following the channel any amount of time, you know I'm really big on database reactivation. I've done tons of training on it. Uh, check out the links in the description. I'll have additional training on how database reactivation works. But usually with database reactivation, what we do is we send emails and text messages to our current or past list of prospects to um, you know, re-engage them, get them opting in, requesting appointments, sales, all that good stuff, right? But you can also do this on LinkedIn. And I've had clients get really, really good results with this. Now, it does come down to how many connections you have, what kind of connections. But I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step how to use uh, we connect, which is my favorite LinkedIn automation software. You can learn more about it in the description. I'm going to kind of break it down a little bit in this training video. There is a two week free trial in the description as well. That's my affiliate link. You guys find this video helpful. Please go through that affiliate link. It's a great way to say thank you and uh, support the channel. Also, make sure you like the video as well. Make sure you subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm going to walk you through step by step how to create this inside of we connect. We're going to go through uh, your, uh, setting up your profile, your LinkedIn profile correctly. We're going to uh, build the list as well. We're going to segment your current connections, and then we're going to bring those into WeConnect and start sending out current uh, messages. So it's going to be awesome, awesome video. A uh, great way for you to re-engage with your current connection. So make sure you stick to the end. Awesome stuff here. All right, let's break down this uh, this overall strategy here because uh, it's it's not that complicated. It's, it's actually really easy to do because you already have the connections. So we're not sending invite requests. We're not doing group messaging, all the other cool stuff that WeConnect can do, uh, which I just did a video on WeConnect, guys. They have uh, they've updated their software to that to the point where it can bypass the weekly invite limit, that 100, that 100 invite weekly limit that LinkedIn imposed on us. They can actually get around that now. So make sure you check that out too. But the very first thing that we want to do, and, and you want to do this with anything that you're doing on LinkedIn is like you want to do this first is to make sure your profile is optimized and set up in a way that is going to convert traffic that so people that land on your profile, we want them opting into our funnels, requesting more information from us. Because what you're going to find, guys, is when you're engaging with people on LinkedIn, whether it's profile visits, commenting on posts, sending invite requests, sending messages, a lot of people will check out your profile first before they engage with you at all. So we wanna make sure that your profile is set up in a way that's going to convert that traffic, get them actually opting into your funnels, right? So we're gonna break that down first. And then from there, we wanna segment your connections to obviously make sure that the offer you're gonna be sending makes sense for the connections you're sending it to. Like, uh, for example, you know, with my SaaS product, uh, uh, the marketing CRM is called Elite Broker. Uh, we run a campaign, you know, offering like custom plans and stuff like that. You can do this in any industry, but, um, you know, the ideal connection for my clients would be actual business owners. So you want to try and segment, like it wouldn't make sense to send a custom funding plan to somebody that doesn't own a business, right? They're maybe they're in sales or VP of sales for XYZ company, right? It just wouldn't make sense. So you want to segment your connections. Uh, you don't want to necessarily just blast it out to everybody. Now, you can use Sales Navigator for this if you want to get really hyper-targeted. I don't think that's necessary for this. Again, it just depends on what kind of connections you already have and what offer you're putting in place. And we're going to send automated messages to our current connections using uh, WeConnect. And the end result is going to be restarting conversations and also those funnel opt-ins, like I mentioned. So, And uh, we'll kind of um, we might talk a little bit about the offer itself, but... The offer is really important, guys. You want to make sure that you're 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 not just trying to restart the conversation. Like, hey, you know, how's business going? Blah blah blah. Like, uh, I suppose you could try that, but we find that what works best is a really good offer, and that comes down to knowing your audience. And the best offers that I've experienced with database reactivation are discount codes, free trials, free custom plans or analysis or some kind of consultation, uh, and then. Uh, free guides. Free guides can work really, really good, guys. Free e like ebooks and masterclasses, you know, something that's going to educate them. Those offers tend to work really well. So, all right, let's uh, let's go through the profile part of this first, and then uh, we'll I'll show you how to segment your current connections here uh, without using Sales Navigator. So, all right, we're on my LinkedIn profile. Let's uh, let's check Matty Ice out here. Let's see what we got. 
Now, guys, I want you to take a second. When you look at this, who do you, uh, what do you think I do and who do you think I do it for? Go ahead, take a second. It should be blatantly obvious. Like one glance, people need to know exactly what you do and who you do it for. Now, I, I do this in the form of a free lead magnet, right? So when you read this free business loan lead generation masterclass, what do, what do you think I do? I probably do something with generating leads in the business loan industry, right? It's uh, like, it's kind of common sense. Learn proven strategies for generating your own exclusive business loan leads. And, uh, but so what I'm doing here is I'm letting people know exactly what I do, who I do it for, but it's also an offer as well. I'm letting them know, Hey, you can get this free masterclass guide, free trial, custom plan, consultation, whatever offer you find is best for your audience. And there's a link in the bio. I put this, uh, I put it right here. I tell them exactly where to go in order to get this free masterclass. Okay. And uh, let's, uh, and I made this in Canva guys. It's you go to canva.com. It's free. You, you can make all kinds of banners and stuff. So uh, the, the most important thing though, is having a call to like a, an offer, all right. Letting them know where to get that offer. And that's going to be a link in the bio. Now, also the headline, learn how to generate, convert more business loan leads, founder of Elite Broker. Again, very, very crystal clear about what I do and who I do it for. So when I'm connecting with and I'm reaching out to business loan brokers and they see this headline, do you think that's going to resonate with them? 110%. So really, really important, guys. And then the other thing, uh, the other like major part of this is uh, if we scroll down, it's going to be your actual bio itself. Where the heck did it go? There it is. The about section. Okay. Now I wouldn't say there's like a magic formula for your, your profile, like or the about section. You want to focus on problem solution. Don't put your resume here, guys. Nobody cares. All right. They, they, people care about what can you do for them? So, you know, again, there's not, I don't have like a specific formula for this. I'm just talking about what is the problem that my audience experiences that I can solve. And that would be generating leads, appointments, getting people on the phone, converting those leads. So that's what I talk about. We talk about those problems and how I, I solve that problem. Identifying your audience, send your audience to your funnel, automatically follow up till the close, et cetera, et cetera. So, and then uh, look at all this. I have all of these links. Now you don't need a ton of links in your about section, but you, uh, at the very minimum, you want to have a link to the opt-in page to get your free lead magnet. I can't, you guys, you'd be amazed when you're doing consistent direct outreach or you're consistent on these platforms and you're getting exposure to your ideal prospects, you'd be amazed at how many times people will visit your profile. And if your offer is good enough, they absolutely will opt into it. I've had hundreds of people opt into this, um, not, not just from Facebook and LinkedIn. Obviously, I got my YouTube channel and stuff like that, too. But I've had a pretty decent amount of people uh, um, click on, on the link for this on my various social media profiles. So it, it absolutely works. So that that's optimizing your profile. You gotta make sure that's uh, set up before you do this because you could be missing out on a lot of potential leads if you don't have this part set up correctly. Now from there, once you have your profile done, uh, we're gonna click on, uh, click on my network here. We're gonna go to connections. And from here, we're gonna be able to filter the current connections that we have. Come on, let's go. Let's not take forever, please. There we go. So we're going to, uh, right here, where it says search with filters. We're going to go to all filters. And we want first connections. Okay. And there's a, a lot of different things you can do. I would say that the, the more important ones are going to be maybe the service categories and, and the title right here. Uh, you can also put keywords for the company name. So if you want to, if you're trying to get uh, a very specific industry, but maybe it's not in their title. You can search, uh, you can put in the company name right here. Like if you're going after construction business owners, as an example, um, this is usually the example I, I give uh, when I teach my clients is um, that's kind of a hard title. Like you, the title would be president, owner, founder, things like that. But that could be anybody. We want to get specifically in construction. So you can put here in parentheses or quotation, sorry, uh, construction. I can't type today. For some reason, my shift button's not working, but you would capitalize that. I don't think it really matters anyways, whatever. And then uh, click show results. And what that's going to do is all of your connections that have the keyword construction in their company name is going to 
come up in that list. All right. So play around with the, uh, you know, the different keyword options here and, and, you know, just segmenting your list. That's, that's what you're doing here now. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Um, let's try that again. All right. Anyways. Uh, so w- once you, once you have your filters in place, sorry guys, hang on. Cause I want to make sure I show you the right link here because we need, we, once you do your search, we need the actual URL for the LinkedIn connect, like the search results URL right here. Okay. Um, my network invite connect connections. Yeah. Okay. So we need this URL. Let me just make sure, uh, this should be good. Yeah. 1100 connections. That should be good. Um, filters. It might be this one. I'm not a hundred percent guys. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Let's double check. So I just clicked filters and then this popped up. But anyways, when you do your search, you, you need the URL for the search results. And that's what we're going to bring over into we connect. You guys are not familiar with we connect. It is in my opinion, the absolute best. Uh, LinkedIn automation software. It is awesome. You can run so many different types of campaigns. You can do smart sequences as well, where you visit profiles first, maybe like uh, and share a comment or a post on, uh, on their profile and then send them co- the connection request. Like you can do some awesome stuff with WeConnect. Plus they just came out well, with that update that lets you bypass the, uh, the, the weekly invite limit. So uh, but what we want to do here is, uh, I believe it's under, so I think they, moved, yeah, uh, my folder saved lists. So we need to bring that list over into WeConnect here. So let's click add list. And we're going to paste in the URL for that, uh, for the search results. We're going to click first connections and click search. All right. Now we connect, uh, they're very good about protecting your, like keeping your account safe. And so this does take a while. And actually, sometimes you need to reset it. Uh, it just kind of gets stuck on a certain number. So, you know, expect that this is going to take a little while. It's just for the protection of your account. Obviously, you don't want your account getting banned. But while this is is populating, we can now go ahead and create a campaign. So we're going to click uh, campaigns here. All right, let's click add new. All right, I'm just going to do tests. You would name it database reactivation, first connection, something like that. And then maybe the, the offer, um, do make sure that you're staying organized. Campaign type is going to be message first connections, and you're going to select the list. Okay. It hasn't populated yet, but, uh, the, the list would show up right here. And then, we'll, uh, it's not gonna let me, um, let me pause this for a second. Cause I, I do want to move forward and show you how to complete this campaign setup. One second. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I actually forgot uh, you have to wait for it to populate a little bit. It took like 30 seconds. Uh, It doesn't automatically save it. So uh, up here, once there's a little bit that populates, then you can actually save the search. Let's go ahead and name it. Let's do test. Now it will be in our saved lists. Okay. Now we can go ahead and set up our campaign. So let's go back to campaigns here. We're going to click add new. Another thing I like about WeConnect is the, the interface. It is really easy to use. It does not take long to learn how to use this. So, all right, campaign name, message first connections. Here's our safe list. There we go. All right, now we'll continue. And from here, you just type out your messages. Uh, for database reactivation, I usually do the initial outreach for uh, with, with the offer. Hey, uh, hey first name. And, and you know, you can, uh, they got the custom values here that will automatically insert their first name if you want. Okay. Hey, first name. Uh, just want to let you know, we put together a free business loan lead generation masterclass shows you some really powerful strategies for generating leads specifically in the business loan industry. If that's something that, uh, you know, is that something that might help your business? If so, let me know and I'll send you a link for it. Um, I don't usually like to blast out links to people. It's a little bit spammy. I'd rather get the commitment from people. But what you could do is, uh, again, in the follow-up right here, so if we add a step, let's say they don't, um, they don't respond because the way that WeConnect uh, operates is that the, uh, and it might be in the settings, I'm not sure, I'd have to double check, but it typically will stop the campaign if some, whenever you get a response from somebody. So you could wait three days right here, so it's a follow-up, and then say, um, hey, hey, first name, just following up. Uh, did you want me to send you that free masterclass? 
and then maybe have one more message a week or two later that just sends the link to the opt-in page. Like, hey, you know, maybe you're just not on the platform or you're busy, totally get it. If, uh, you know, you could use some more leads for your particular business, here's a link to a free masterclass that we did. Feel free to check it out, something like that. And uh, at that point, you just launched the campaign. That's it, guys, like nothing crazy. And, uh, but, but just to recap this, the, the key to this is profile optimization, really good offer. And then, and then maybe seg like having a good segmented part of your connection so that it, it speaks like it's just more targeted. It speaks directly to a specific part of your connection. So that's pretty much it, guys. That, that's LinkedIn database reactivation. It's really easy to get going. One of the first things I have my clients do if they have, you know, a decent number of connections, uh, you don't need thousands, a few hundred, like you could be sitting on an absolute gold mine with that and not even know it. So this is a great way to tap into that gold mine. So again, guys, if you found the video helpful, please smash the like button. Make sure you go through my affiliate link for WeConnect. Really, really appreciate the support. Hope you guys are crushing it. Matty Ice is out.